So welcome everybody to Hot Song Podcast. Today is October 3rd, 2024, and the topic for this evening is a matter of time. So, you know, I like to experiment. So I've been experimenting with time recently. Um, the, so I just want to, to kind of share what do I mean by experimenting with time is that um, I, when I go visit my mom, it is like from where I am now, taking public transit to where she is. Like even though we're in the same city, but it's, uh, it takes quite a bit. It actually takes two hours, around two hours, depending on whether I can get um, you know, bus connection um, at a timely, in a timely manner. So usually it takes about, you know, between, um, what, between 90 to like almost two hours. It usually takes about that much time. So I've been experimenting is to just focus um, my consciousness on making that time shorter. So, so um, I think the, the fastest I've done it is about 90 minutes. So it's, no, 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 actually in fact, I, I was able to do it. Um, it's about 75 minutes. That's like usually like hour and a half. Yes. So 90 minutes, um, I can manage it every now and then, but you know, 75 minutes, I think I've tried it once. So that's, that's how I play with time. And then the other thing is actually to slow down time. And, <clears throat> and I find that when I fully immersed in the experience, I actually can, can slow down time. It's, it's like I, I get so much out of just a few minutes. So that's, so that's what I've been doing is to slow down time and then speed up time, depending on um, how I with what state of mind my consciousness is in um, to, to play with that. So that, well, I've been experimenting with that. And, um, <clears throat> and then, you know, when, um, and also I've been looking back because what I'm dealing with now is a lot of the, um, um, okay, I'm, I'm gonna back, back a little bit, back up a little bit is, um, I don't know if you guys have noticed I'm Chinese, kind of, or at least my um, my ethnic origin is is Chinese. But for the longest time, I would say even up until um, I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks ago, I'm very un-Chinese, or I I resist being Chinese, but with um with all the efforts I can get, I'm the like when I come over to Canada a um, long, long time ago, the like, first thing I, I did was to speak only in, in English like, because I, I was so eager to get out of the, the Chinese culture that I, I, I forced myself, even though my English was nowhere near conversational at all, but I forced myself to speak only in English and you know, read English books immerse myself in English and I and I actually get you know fluent pretty quickly of course I was young way younger that time so it's easier so um but then and then um I deliberately hang out with non-Chinese um and and all of that so and um so I've been resisting the Chinese culture for decades and so recently uh, when we were talking about you know acceptance and non-resistance I was like okay there's something I have to just drop is to drop this um resisting my own culture so very um and so so very decidedly so so that's what I've been doing is to just drop that resistance and um and so the thing I find is that um, when we, when we, or, or at least when I was young, I, I grew up in the Chinese culture, language, and all that. 
Um, so all, a lot of the programs has been layered in, in a different language than what I am using now. And so when I'm trying to um, reprogram myself, when I'm doing the reprogramming in English, I find that there are things that I miss. There are things that so somehow does not quite work. But when I go back to really um, re-immerse myself in, in the Chinese culture and then do the reprogramming at the same time, then it actually works a little better. So what does that has to do with time? Is that um, when once I start to consciously do that, is to reprogram myself with um, while I'm accessing my um, birth, uh, my my the language that I was born with, um, or that I learned the first language that I learned. It's like I find that I can actually access a little deeper and able to reprogram myself a little deeper. And so all these things, so a lot of the things I actually was able to trace all way further back. So I was actually able to remember um, a lot of the original trauma. That's not from this lifetime, but from much like beyond time. So. So that's when I, that's why I want to bring up this, this time thing is that, um, hang on, let me try to find that. So we, we know that we can slow down time and speed up time. And our body is actually what can, is how our consciousness experience ah. this world. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. mm -hmm. So um so our body is the 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 vehicle that we use to that our our consciousness used to experience this world. So when we when we clear things in our body, actually it, um, it makes it easier for us to feel more empty, more empty. And, and when we are more empty, we can actually get more downloads. We can actually integrate our experience faster and faster when we don't have a lot of resistant that's stored in our body and that's what I I was um, experiencing is that the more we can accept everything that we have experienced so far the easier it is for us to clear all those um, the resistance within the body and when you do that then we, whenever the information from outside hits us, um, whether it's from sunlight or whether it is just um, galactic energies hitting us, the only reason why, or yeah, one of the few reasons why we don't get the full download is because our body has a lot of um, programming that's already there. Some of it is naturally because we, we live in, in uh, the earth matrix. So earth matrix is configured in a certain way that it filters um, some information out. So we don't get hit by them because those some information when we are on earth, we can't quite um, digest it properly yet. So the matrix itself would, would screen out some of the um, information for us and then our own programming would also screen out um, a lot of the other information that comes in from whether they are local sun or the galactic sun 
So um, the more we can clear ourselves, the more we can consciously clear ourselves, actually the easier it is for us to um, comprehend, to really digest, comprehend, and um, correctly interpret what the information is that's for us to pick in and that actually made me think oh how come some people can manifest you know pretty fast and so how come some people it takes such a long time it the the thing is um the more we can let go of persistence the more we can embrace acceptance no matter what the experience may be, is to just consciously um, integrate our experiences. And when we can do that, then actually instant manifestation is easy to do because there's like, information coming in and we can integrate it instantly so it can we can let the, what it is that does not serve us go and what it is that we actually need, we can grasp to the, onto those um, information and opportunities. So that's what, that's really what um, it's about. And uh, let's see. So when we can get to the point where we can fully accept anything that we experience, just fully accept it, then it becomes instant. Now, um, can we actually do this while we're in the human body? I'm not sure. Um, it really depends on the level of consciousness because when we raise our consciousness, we actually um, can activate different part of the, the human body and the human body can get right now it's rather dense but when our consciousness shift it can get to be quite light a light uh, really get to the point of being a light body rather than right now it's a dense really very um, slow kind of density so that's why when we have that, it's hard to, or, or I shouldn't say it's hard, it takes longer to manifest. So what time really is, is just because when something comes in, it, our body receives it and some part of us can integrate it instantly. However, in order for us to consciously experience it within this body, the time is what it is that is created naturally. Because when, when we create time, it's because we cannot digest everything and we cannot um, sort things out instantaneously. That's why we create a time to spread out our experiences. So it won't impact us so much uh, to, to um, kind of overwhelm us. That's why we created time. And the more um, programs, the more resistance we have, the longer it takes for us to express and experience and integrate anything. So that's why all of this, when we start to let go, the more we let go, the easier, easier it is for us to just instantly get something and fully integrate it, fully experience it and let whatever it is that we don't want go and to um, take action on the opportunities that we want to take action on. So that is my understanding of how we create a time. And when we know how we create a time, why time is created, then we can start to play with time and to stretch it or to um, shrink it. 
to the point where one day we'll be able to master time so that we can actually step beyond time. <clears throat> when is that going to happen? I have no idea. It, uh, I'm, I'm kind of playing with it. Sorry, there's something in my water. I just needed a drink of water. <clears throat> so, any questions, suggestions so far, comments? How far, uh, where does your mom live that it takes so long? I live downtown. She lives in Scarborough. It takes you two hours? It takes me two hours, yes. Wow. How yep. far, Scarborough? <clears throat> what intersection? Um, Warden and Steels. Warden and Steels? That shouldn't be that far. No? It takes two hours. Yeah. Trust me. <laughs> sometimes it takes a full two hours. Sometimes it's um, a little less than that. But yeah, it takes about two hours. Yeah. And it's not of steels? What? It's not of steels? Warden and steels. Yeah. So it's not like going not of steel, like where you have to take the Viva or something. No, not at all. Yeah, that, that that is a pain. Yeah. Nice to work there. The modern bus would come very late, like out of steels. I would have to take a stool and go sit at the bus stop for Viva, for the Viva in Markham area. Uh -huh. uh, because the, the buses are so erratic, you cannot. We don't know when they'll come, especially late in the night. So I would have to carry a little stool and sit down. There's no shelter, no nothing. Mm -hmm. Amy, I always have a problem with this concept of time. Time doesn't exist or everything present, past and future is all at this time. And uh, even though I've heard it so many times, I still can kind of justify or explain that in my mind. Like very, that concept to me is still very strange. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've yeah. never done research on it. I've never done lots of reading on it, but I've heard it like a million times. And I, from very smart people though, but I, I trust they know, but I, I don't understand. Um, I know that there are technology that can um, do tra time travel. However, um, we can actually travel in time. We can travel in time ourselves. Just uh, in imagination or in real? couple of ways. We can actually experience, we can re-experience um, something that happened I don't know, 10 years ago or longer. It does not matter when it happened. We can actually tap into that energy field and experience it and get, the, get all the experience or all, all the information from that. So that's one way we can time travel. Um, right now, our body is still too dense. So a lot of the times we can only travel back in time through consciousness. We can't really take our body back yet. However, at some point when we clear our body enough and our consciousness is shifted high enough, it is feasible that we can actually take um, our body back in time as well. Theoretically feasible. Is it actually, can we actually do it? Has anybody done it? I don't know. Um, 
I have a couple of questions. How, how does time relate to space? Some people say time and space are interlinked. Um, the other one is dimension. How does time relate to dimension? dimensions? And the other thing is that some people say there's no time, there's only present moment. There's no time. That's true. Right. But how does time relate to space? Or dimensions? Um, so there is... How shall I put it? My understanding is there is no space as well. Mm. There's no time, there's no space as well. We create space as well. We mm. actually, our consciousness actually never, um, never moves. Mm. We just create the illusion that we're moving. So in a way, there is no space. There's no time, there's no space. However, in order to, because we are in the playground, so we are, we are on Earth, there's a playground. Earth has a certain, um, within the matrix of Earth, the, the natural matrix of Earth, there is a certain way that we experience time and space here. Mm, okay. And dimensions goal, too? Um, dimensions too. Yes, dimensions just means is the the quality of experience. Oh. So with there are some within certain dimensions, um, like within third dimension, which is more material, we don't really experience um, things that is not matter. Right. With, with when we move to fourth dimension, fourth dimension allows us to experience time um, among mm -hmm. multiple levels of time. Mm -hmm. And then fifth dimension, then there are other things that we can experience. So it, it actually is in essence shifting the matrix so that it allows us to experience things um, differently. So it's, okay. you can think of it as being a different matrix. It's okay. just programs. It's just a bunch of programs that says this, these are the things that you can, let's say, three third dimensions. So these are the, 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 the bandwidth of experience that you can experience. And that's, that's the third dimension. And then the fourth is this range. And then the fifth is there and so on and so on. Yes, that makes sense. But then there's some people that can uh, feel the energy, see angels, see whatever, and some people can't. Um, does that mean that? Well, it's their consciousness. It's the, their consciousness. Okay. It's their consciousness. Mm -hmm. Their consciousness allows them to access things that um, other people may not be able to access yet. But it does not mean that we don't have that access. It's just that our consciousness is not open to that yet. Or it's not clean yet. There's a lot of, like you were saying, there's stuff, uh, junk in our body. It could also be junk in our consciousness that doesn't let us to see those higher levels, correct? A lot of it is fear-based. Hmm. Yeah. So if you if you fear certain things like let's say if you fear ghosts, then you don't like to you you don't want to go to fourth dimension because that's where they are. Okay. Um, whether you know or not or not, that's where they are. Um, However, when your consciousness is there and you know um, what it is, then you know ghosts is ghosts. I see them all the time. I feel them all the time. It does not matter. And then when you go to higher um, dimensions, all of a sudden you 
you can just um, be able to telepathically communicate with other people and other people can um, read to you like they read a book. Like if, how do you feel if everyone can read your thoughts? Yeah, that one. <laughs> right now is like, uh, no, thank you. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but when you get to the fifth dimension and you understand oneness, then you know that that's, that's okay. Right. Yeah. There's no problem. Your consciousness has shifted. So whatever it was that kept you away from being able to experience that is no longer an issue. So, so you, you, you're saying that we need to empty, right? Yep. And what else do we need to do if we want to go higher dimensions? <laughs> if you can empty yourself, that's all you need to do. That's all you need, okay. That's all you need gotcha. to do. Gotcha, thank you. Because if you empty yourself, you actually um, like instantly man can manifest things. Mm. And you instantly get download because you, you don't resist the information. Wow. Whatever it is that we are not ready to accept, it just it comes down, but it's like bounces off because we're not ready for it yet. Wow. It's all back long. So, mm. but when you empty yourself out and you have no resistance, then you don't need time anymore. And everything is instant. Because mm. there's no resistance. Mm. But if wow. you, if somebody, like, it's like if you hear the news and whatever they say, it scares you, you're not ready. Mm. Mm. So mm -hmm. you can actually do the practice is to put yourself in a state that whatever it is you hear, you can let go. You don't, if you feel fear, you process the fear, you let it go. And whatever it is that, that you hear, it does not affect you. Mm -hmm. then, then you're there. Then you're there. Wow. Thank you. I have one interesting idea just came to me. So if there is no time, why do we age? <laughs> why do we age? It's because we resist it like when we when we get so things is um our body is supposed to heal itself but when we have certain um ideas when we have certain ideas when we have certain stuck um ideas stuck energy then it cannot heal itself so at first it gets a little out of shape and then the more it is we kind of um judge when we when we judge okay i have like i look like this 10 years ago and i look like what i look like now so like you, you kind of look at the the mirror and judge yourself so that's a layer another layer of um programming and then the, there's also um, some genetic, um, I would say, manipulation that limits the, the our lifespan. That's only like genetic manipulation can only last when we are when our consciousness is lower. But when our consciousness starts to get higher and higher, our own consciousness can override those things. We can re rewrite our own DNA. Um, a lot of times it may take a generation or a few generations to rewrite those um, DNA programs. However, we can do that. And at some point when we get high enough for consciousness, we can actually rewrite our own DNA in, uh, like within, a, within our own lifetime. We can rewrite our own DNA. The reason why we die is because that's another, that's an easy way to rewrite our DNA. When our consciousness is not too high. So there are a couple of why, uh, reasons why we age. 
genetical manipulation, um, our own resistance and judgment, and also um, like when we when we resist, we actually creates backlogs in our body and it slows our own regeneration power down. So when the, the, the backlog gets big enough, it like the body cannot regenerate itself fast enough. And so we start to age. Aging is just because we 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 don't regenerate fast enough. So how do we fastest clear the backlogs? I mean, I'm probably we would say meditation, and this is all that we are doing and clearing. But let this... go, let go, let go of fear, let go of worries. Just yeah. Vini, when you say in consciousness, you mean soul, you mean God, true self. What is consciousness in in your? Uh, understanding consciousness is what you are consciously aware of is it intuitive yes it can be intuitive okay because we actually we actually um we are aware of a lot more than we are consciously aware of Sure. Yes, so much more. So, so consciousness is actually inside of me, right? It's not something that higher than me. It's both. It's both? You have access to your own consciousness as well. And there is another part of you that has more access to that. But it's it's different than true self, isn't it? Or it's the same? Okay, so let's I'm already see. confused. So you, so you, your body, has a consciousness. Okay, right? your body has a consciousness, and um. But your consciousness, that you have access to consciousness that is beyond your body. So far, so good. You get that? Is it God? What? Who is be beyond me? Okay, define God for me. Like I don't. Uh, my understanding of God is very different from your understanding of God. Define I don't know. God. It's 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 uh some energy who create what create everything. I guess I don't know who is God. Okay, so you are an aspect of God. You are an a, a fractal of God. So when we say is somebody created, actually we create ourselves. So far so good, we create it's ourselves. True. Yeah. We create it's ourselves. True. And when we come to the earth matrix, we the way we create ourselves is to find um, a set of parents. So that we come through the birth canal and that's how we, but you know, but actually we, the true, um, our true self actually made that arrangement. So that's how we create ourselves in this matrix. So true self, it's our consciousness? When you are here, because um, your body don't have access to the full consciousness. So you only have a fraction of that. 
Okay. Okay. But the more you are able to let go of your body, um, meaning that the more you are able to access who you truly are outside or beyond the body, the more you will have connection to the um, consciousness that is beyond your body. A lot of the times we think we are the body and that's what's limiting us. But it's bigger than our soul, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's it's confusing because it's sometimes it seems that it's all the same. Um just different names. Don't let that confuse you is when you feel confused and go back to where you feel comfortable. Okay? Go back to where you feel comfortable. Yeah, I feel comfortable that, you know, some energy, you know, beyond me that uh, then moving everything. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's the first step. And then when you get comfortable, when you are adventurous, when you feel adventurous, then you have to switch your mind um, a little bit is to remember that you are that as well. You are, you're in this body, but you are also beyond. It's the same you. There's no, there's no one else but you. But only when you feel adventurous enough. So one step at a time. But it's also confusing because um, it's like I always was told that this, our soul is a part of consciousness inside of us. That's how we connect to this energy beyond us. Mm -hmm. Are you comfortable with that or does that confuse you? Yeah, I'm comfortable with it. I okay. accept it. Then stick with that. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Anything else? Um, since we're going off topic a little bit, I can ask my question. Uh, there's the you said that there's con consciousness what we're uh, um, aware of but what about like subconscious or unconscious mind those are parts of the mind that i think um one of them is the programming of the past can you talk about that or um So that's the that's that's how we can actually increase our consciousness is by look at, by looking at what it is that we are we are unconsciously aware of and making that conscious. Okay. That's part of how we can expand our consciousness. Okay. What about subconscious? Is that the programming in the past? Subconscious. Um, <laughs> I know there's so many definitions. It's a matter of definition. I don't know what you mean by subconscious. Uh, a lot of times people use those two unconscious and subconscious interchangeably. Yeah, but so there's. So I want you to right? actually um, define what you mean by subconscious or your understanding mm -hmm. of what subconscious is. You know what? I don't remember now. I <laughs> have to go back to do some research. But um, yeah, Can I ask you something. So basically, consciousness is being aware of something, right? Right. So whatever you believe, 
it still depends on everybody's belief. No? I did not hear that. Can you speak no. a little louder, please? No, I was saying that consciousness is what you're aware of. Yeah, well, I heard that. The second part, I didn't hear. So, so I was saying then that depends on everybody's belief of what belief is and aware <clears throat> and awareness are two different things. Yeah. You can be aware of something without believing it. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Like uh, some people will believe that there is a God and some don't. Right? Yes, no? I, I'm saying that you are confusing belief with awareness. You can be aware of something yeah, without yeah. believing it. Right. So you, there, we all are aware that we think that there is a God. Many people think there is a God outside. Not extra terrestrial being or whatever. Spirit, whatever. Okay. But, uh, since we are on the spiritual path, I feel like God is within us because we have the power to believe or not believe. You're still confusing what belief and awareness okay. are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aware is what you are aware of. You we, know. we can be aware of experiences without being able to um, put it in our belief system. Mm -hmm. Why only if the, you're it's the, thing, the thing is that your belief is is a screen, whatever right. it is that you can uh, you can be aware of something, but if you if it does not fit into your belief, then you would push that aside. Mm -hmm. That does not mean you are not aware of it. It's just that it does not fit in with your beliefs. So you just push it aside. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying to get at, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I have exactly. something you put it in the You put yeah, it in the end. Then you're saying about just consciousness, you just told us, Tatiana, that what she believes or what she's comfortable with. So that's what I was saying. Then that can vary from person to person. The, the thing is, I, it's, I would rather um, you, let's see, make your own, make up your own belief from what it is that you're comfortable with. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rather than trying to, um, get out of your comfort zone because not no, everybody is anyway. not everybody is here to expand our consciousness right. not everyone depends on what they think is consciousness it comes down to that right eventually what you believe is consciousness that's what I'm trying to get because mm -hmm. people ask you what is consciousness so consciousness is like being aware of something and believing in it no, no. you don't have to believe it you just have to be aware of it okay so then what would you describe as consciousness what is consciousness? whatever it is that you're conscious of okay that is awareness yeah no Yep. Awareness. Yeah, and then you are saying that even though you may have be aware, but you may not believe it. That's yeah. A lot of people can feel energy. Yeah. They don't, but they don't necessarily have to believe in energy. They may only believe in things that they can touch, but they can still feel it. It's just that they, what they feel, they have no words to uh, or no um yeah. nowhere to hang it on that mm -hmm. does not mean that they are not aware of energy it's just that when they are aware of it 
they don't have the belief system to support it. And then when we talk about instinct, which is sort of like what Manon was saying about subconscious, we subconsciously do something without realizing it, or we instinctively do something. So okay, maybe that maybe. that comes from knowledge, right? You have to have that knowledge somewhere in you for it to pop up. It just pops up at. Um, instincts is more like something that is genetically built in. Like when we hear a loud sound, we jump. That's instinct. Yeah. Okay. That's one form. But there are lots of things that we sometimes do that we are not aware why we did that. And then it turns out to be for our good, let's say, whatever. Or okay. some people say, I instinctively avoided that situation. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you finish, I'd like to go to something more practical related to this topic. <laughs> yeah, that's not subconscious then? Anything else, Roxana? I just asked, is that not subconscious, the instinct? I don't know what subconscious is. Okay. All right. Because I, I, that's why I asked for a definition of what sub subconscious is. Okay. Because um, for me, subconscious, unconscious, same. However, you may not have that understanding. Okay. Okay. That's good. Thank you. So I'll go back to time and aging. And you okay. said age when we <laughs> have resistance towards something. And then I'll give you practical examples. So I, my gray hair for me is sign of aging <laughs> and I don't like it. So within <laughs> a year, I went to the dentist maybe 30 times more than in the previous 10 years. And my gray, my hair turned gray like 50% from that resistance doing this. And I even had to redo the simple feelings like they last six weeks and I have to redo them because it fells out and dentist is top notch. So how resistance, how much resistance I have created that my gray, uh, my hair is gray now <laughs> because of that. <laughs> and that gray hair equals like aging for me. So the way I understand you, uh, cure is not to resist and let go and clear the blockages that were created as resistance towards those events that are not as traumatic as some other events are you know like my mom passed away and I wasn't gray wasn't having gray hair because it was kind of natural cause like she was old and uh, so yeah you are proof that this works in real life okay I had to say because that cures and like I, I, I it helps me okay Thank you for bringing that up. Thank you for giving us that example. Never thought of that one, but now when you when you put the steps, I said, oh my God, like that's the reason. Yep. Vinny, you're saying yes. like the body has, uh, body actually does not know time. The body does not know time? Yeah. Like if it knew time, it, it would follow that it's aging. Then how does, how does growth happen?
the body does not know time. I'm just trying to digest that. Body does not know time. Um, body does, there are certain things that the body does, even like even if we don't think about it. For example, right. um, we <clears throat> cells dies and then we grow new cells. That's something that we don't have to know. The body just knows how to do it. Exactly, it's like a computer. Yeah. And then there are certain things that our consciousness has to kick in in order for the body to do it. So things like um, we can actually consciously heal ourselves. Um, yeah, let go of any body pain, that kind of stuff. So that takes consciousness. Right. So um, can you ask your question again? No, I was saying uh, like uh, because uh, what Draga just said uh, that there was a cause and effect for her hair to get gray. But because we are grown up with the idea that if you have gray hair, you're old. Young people can be having gray hair. Like if I, even I was in school and a teacher told me that I had a lot of gray hair in the middle of my head because she was standing above me. And I was just like in seventh, eighth grade. Like, so for me, gray hair, it did not been said that, but only because we are taught to see it as gray and people think that you're older. Mm -hmm. That's why we go and color our hair and all. And me having a young child, uh, I actually felt that I my hair go more gray during the pregnancy. Uh, and that's why I had to start coloring my hair because people couldn't believe that I had a young baby. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm saying, but then if there is no time and no aging, how do we grow from the small being into a bigger thing? I think Sadhguru once said that because we eat, we have to grow. We grow because we have to eat. Um, as I mentioned already, there are there are certain things that just it does naturally it yeah so growing from you know a sperm and an egg meeting to a full-grown body and then birthing process and then we growing up that's something that is natural the body just knows how to do that or it's the developing and then, and once it is grown and then the the aging process though it's another process that's kicking in and that is because we can't um, regenerate fast enough. So the more toxins, the more blockages within our body, then the harder it is for the regeneration process to outpace the deterioration process because there, there are two processes going on. Right, right. And that's why when you detox your body, like regularly, you're actually helping yourself to um, regenerate faster. You like you won't look as old. You won't grow old as fast. Right. And it's also a consciousness as well. So growing old is a conscious choice because we see that, oh, okay, when you're old, you, you have gray hair, you have wrinkled skin, you have this thing, that thing. Like it's been programmed into us that that means old age and everybody gets to old age. That's just a program. That's right. Yeah, agree. We, Another thing you yeah. mentioned with Manon about space. Sorry, did you want to add something? No, no, no. no. That, that's okay. Go ahead. About Go ahead. space and time. Uh, because on, on this planet, we have the magnetic that holds us down. So when they say you go in space, you just float because there's no magnet ho holding us. So, 
So what is that when true? I don't there know. Is no space, there is no space. Then where, where are, what is Earth? What are all the planets? They are somewhere. And that's what we call space. Yeah. And there's space in between each. Yeah. And I'm saying that that space is illusion. It's not real. So what is it then? Nothing? How, how does the speaking. sun stay up? How does the moon stay up? How purely does... speaking. Purely speaking. From purely consciousness speaking. Yeah. Um, we, we, everything that we see around us is just created by our consciousness. We create the illusion of moving. We create the illusion of going to space, but actually consciousness never moves. So in reality, there is no space, just like there is no time. However, we created time so that we can spread out all the experience and we created space so that we can have, you know, this space, we are able to see like in I, my apartment, I can see this. But if I want to um, go and have a different experience, see different things, I actually have to, you know, walk out the street or go visit something else, somewhere else. So that's why we created space. Mm -hmm. So that we have, we can have a different kind of experience. But our consciousness does this. Do you understand what I'm saying? Kind of, kind of. It's still <laughs> too, too big a thing too. So okay. when I when I say that they're in reality, like when you get to the real self, there's no time, there's no space, there's no one else but you. However, in on Earth, in this experience, there is time, there is space, and there are different, like there. Like you and I are different people. Right. So that's all, we, we created all that, but it's an illusion. And then how do we say that the past, present, future is running simultaneously? Yeah, it is. Why we, do we... Actually, we actually exist beyond time. We exist beyond space. Don't try. Don't try to go there yet. If you <laughs> if you're confused, then just um no need to go there yet. It's not about confusion. It's the that belief that we are brought up with. It's hard to let go of that because we're I don't know maybe it's not advanced spiritually or whatever that we cannot comprehend that. And that's okay. Yeah. It's not everyone's job to comprehend all of that. Interesting. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not everybody's purpose in life to, you know, know everything in the universe. No. <laughs> that's why we have different people. That's why that's why we created the illusion of different people. That's why we created the, the illusion of um, different experiences so so we each life we go through the experience that we have assigned for this lifetime and then we come again we have different plan and then at some point we would integrate all of that experience together and then we merge all the way back into one that's, I don't know how many trillions of years from now. But. See, again, we brought years, see, because that's part of our thing to measure time. Yeah. Because we can actually Just live in the moment, best thing. We can, we can actually experience all of eternity in a second. Stretch it out. <laughs> and one of the ways that you can 
start to play with it is to play with time, play with slowing time down, play with speeding it up. Mm-hmm. That's, that's just to get your feet wet. If it interests you, but you don't have to. You can just go on. Yeah, like if I'm alone at home, for me, time doesn't matter so much unless I have to go somewhere or a bodily function makes you move. Mm -hmm. Or you experience pain or something. Otherwise, I just live in the moment. Whatever comes to my mind, I just do. (laughs) Nobody to tell me not not time. This is not the right time to sleep or wake or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any other comments, questions? In that case, let's meditate. 